pool and the damage and I've lifted up a whole bunch of pavers this week in the morning to have a look as you can see there's a whole bunch of subsidence and cracking I've also picked up some of the rocks from the garden to now build me to dig and if you walk along here you can start to see the bulge of the pool so that there should be in line with that there yeah, like it is in this spot anyway you can see the concrete's opening up and I've dug a bit of a hole with a jackhammer and unfortunately it's full of water now because it rained last night but in behind there is a big cavity which is now full of water and to make matters worse as you can see possibly if I zoom in here's a big crack in the pool that's uh, now starting to leak some dirt through it so it's not good <sighs> anyway other than that everything else is going well the gardens are looking very green and rich lots of water and the house is quite good apart from the hail damage we got the other day which I'll try and show you but go in underneath here you can start to see some holes in the roof there from the hail not overly impressed with that as you can see We've got a builder who's supposed to come out and quote it for us for the insurance company. Now if we go for a walk on the other side of the house, we can see all of the uh, bricks. The water tank and a tree, the water tank's nice and full. Here's some of the stones that I pulled out of the garden. It's amazing that just one small little six inch strip on the side of the pool creates a mound that big. And how's that for a mound of pavers for what was, as you saw, a very small percentage of actually what's around the pool. Anyway, that's what I've got up to. It looks like some of the weeds have grown very nicely in that time. So I believe this is the fundamental problem with the pool. As you can see, the, the hole I dug is full of water, but also over here you can see that the water it, itself is just sitting between the garden and the pool edge with nowhere to go. I'm getting closer. So the only place it gets to go is down the crack between the concrete and the pool. Eventually taking with it the dirt on the inside. It's very deep. About ankle deep I suppose. At the same time, it's worth noting that Scott has his answer about which end's higher. As you can see, that in there is uh, dry, the water's been running down towards the hole, but here it continues on pretty much all the way down to the fence line. 